What is going on guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I got for you Big Brother Canada 12, episode 3. Last episode, we saw the teams being formed. Anthony's got a squad. Victoria, aka Spicy's got a squad. And we saw the end of the HOH where Anthony won the HOH but he went against his word because he promised Victoria that he would throw the competition to Victoria but he ended up going against his word because Victoria told him right before the competition that she would want to target two guys and this went off alarm bells in Anthony's head and realizing that the girls probably have a girls all girls alliance he decided to take the HOH for himself and we saw Anthony win the HOH. Victoria, who I thought would kind of be feeling back, you know, feeling backstabbed, was actually pretty, you know, happy for Anthony winning the HOH. And so I, I could see Victoria maybe going against this girls, all girls alliance and wanting to work with Anthony instead. And um, we see that Anthony wants to make a strategic decision and not, you know, ruffle too many feathers because he's already a huge threat a huge target and so victoria hopes that anthony puts up two guys and she lets the girls know about this so we can kind of see victoria's trying to play both sides she's gonna act like they're act like she's working with anthony when she's talking with anthony making telling anthony information but she's also gonna go back to the girls and gonna tell the girls what they want to hear and not tell the girls how close she is with anthony so this is so we can see victoria's playing a smart game kind of you know i i think she's playing both sides but let's see how this works for her you know what i'm saying is so after that we get to the hoh room and anthony you know gets like a, this tv and i'm not sure if they usually get tvs but nobody makes mention of this tv there and then all of a sudden Victoria finds this orange remote and she turns it on and then the TV turns on and then you can see crystal clear different parts of the house basically like a spy cam and I'm not I don't think Big Brother Canada's ever gotten this spy cam before we know in Big Brother USA the HOH room has this TV where you can see different rooms of the house and see where people are and it's like this spy cam so this definitely might be the first time this has happened in Big Brother Canada because the house guests look and look super sh surprised of, of, of the spy cam. They're definitely super shocked about it. And and they're like thinking, yo, we got to watch out what we say or where we are, and who we talk to, because the HOH can see everything. And we see the girls start trying to make speaking arrangements saying yo only three of us could be in certain rooms because of the spy cam and uh i feel like you know that's that's a good point but like i feel like the spy cam it like it, when it comes with the spy cam like what i've noticed in big brother usa like the hoh does see who's talking to each other and that does give like the hoh a huge advantage but at the end of the day you're gonna still you're still gonna talk to who you want to talk to and like i don't know man i feel like it's kind of redundant to try to make speaking arrangements because i feel like it's not gonna last you know it, it's cool to say like okay we're gonna do it this way but eventually like if there's an all girls alliance the hoh is gonna know about it and he already does the spy cam isn't gonna mean anything but yeah i think it, it i think it's smart for them to to think this way and to be wary of who they talk to like if they want to have a secret alliance but like they have an all-girls alliance and they're worried about the spy cam exposing it like you know what i'm saying like it's the, sp the spy cam ain't gonna expose their all-girls alliance it's already exposed so maybe if they want to have like some secret alliance with somebody else that they're not working with then i would say you'll have this speaking arrangement only talk in this room where the spy cam isn't is what i'm trying to say and so after that we see victoria um tells anthony a lot of information i think it's because of the spy cam she's worried that somebody will tell anthony about the all girls alliance and she doesn't want somebody else telling anthony this she wants because she wants anthony to trust her so she tells anthony 
that you know she throws somebody under the bus she doesn't just straight up say yo there's an all girls alliance and i'm a part of it she says to anthony yo this person is trying to rally up the girls she throws janine under the bus and uh, makes her a target so so much for the all girls alliance you know they say all girls alliance don't last long and we just saw another example of that so anthony talks to janine tries to get some information out of her he knows that janine is a super fan janine doesn't give him anything so anthony's like all right this super fan i'm wor i'm worried about her because she's gonna be like once she gets hoh you know she's not gonna want to you know she's gonna make moves for herself and her not saying much information to anthony she he, he's already realizing that okay she's gonna be a problem she's a super fan she knows not to say too much information to me i gotta get her out so he talks to vivek about it invites him on the wendy's date and uh, they say yo maybe we should get rid of avery too because she's a strong competitor and uh yeah you know anthony had a lot of cool moments in this episode with a bunch of people because you know he lost a loved one and so he has this moment with avery and they share their experiences losing people close to them and then dan or dane whoever that is i haven't watched big brother canada 7 but apparently that's his buddy dane that gave him the food and so they share this moment with each other uh, because anthony lost somebody really close to him and uh at this point in the episode my stream cuts off so i am watching this illegally so the fbi i want to let you guys know i'm coming clean i am watching this illegally because this is big brother canada and i'm in the united states so come arrest me but they must have heard this already because they cut my stream the fbi cut my stream man for, i hate the fbi sometimes man but yeah so i missed like 10 minutes left of the episode but you know if i had to bet money um anthony nominated janine and avery on the block and uh this all girls alliance ain't looking too ain't looking like it's gonna you know last very long but there's still a veto maybe someone wins the veto and anthony decides to backdoor a guy but Anthony has said, like, yo, he's not trying to make this all boys versus girls. He tells this to Victoria. But I'm starting to think it might be boys versus girls, Anthony. I don't know, man. Well, we'll find out soon enough as the season unfolds. But, yeah, this has been a TV movie podcast. Thanks for listening and watching. See you in the next episode. Bless up and peace.